This week we begin a three-part series profiling the three finalists for the Louisiana Farm Bureau's Young Farmers and Ranchers Achievement Award. The award is presented each year at the Farm Bureau's annual convention in New Orleans and honors one young farmer for outstanding work in his production practices while keeping resources in balance. Among a list of other prizes, the overall winner will receive a 2009 Dodge Ram pickup truck. This week we begin with Clayton Hurdle, a West Baton Rouge grain producer who's trying to balance a young family with a growing farming operation. As This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's Bill Sherman tells us, that can be quite a challenge. That corn, when it's right, it looks pretty, but boy, when you don't get it right year on it, it can show and make you sick. Corn's very, very risky. That's part of the reason Clayton Hurdle believes so strongly in diversifying his 2,100-acre farm here in Iberville Parish, from soybeans to wheat, sugar cane to cattle. In our area where we can grow as many crops as we have, diversity is a real good thing. It keeps your risk down. Some of the weather that we are faced with quite often. Weather that has included a handful of hurricanes and floods here in the last few years. In fact, Hurdle has become quite an expert in hydrology and flood control. He's also seen his fair share of dry spells. Now this is some pretty heavy clay. And through it all, he's managed to record some of the state's top yields, even while utilizing best management practices. Well, we try to do as much minimum till that we can on certain crops. Uh, it depends on what type of ground you're in, but if we can get away with it, we like to drill some beans in some of our milo stubble or corn stubble. Um, the wheat, we'll, we'll drill the wheat in. Uh, we'll also drill the beans into the wheat stubble. When we can cut our costs by, by doing minimum till and cut down erosion, we sure like to. Hurdle's experience in farming and ranching goes back to his childhood when he began driving and washing tractors by the time he was nine years old. Now, Hurdle is watching his four-year-old son, Carson, take an interest in the farm. Carson, along with his little sister, Sydney, and mom, Carrie, all have a vested interest in the Hurdle farm operation, and the family understands farming is a full-time, year-round undertaking. And I just can't see myself doing anything else. I will if I have to, but as long as I can fight it, this is in my blood and passionate about it, and, and uh, that's what makes me good at it, that I'm passionate about it. Hurdle's travels have taken him to Washington, D.C., Santa Barbara County in California, and Beijing and Shanghai in China, all part of the LSU Ag Center's leadership class. In addition to seeing how other farmers deal with regulations or the lack thereof, Hurdle also doesn't mind letting legislators and representatives know where he stands on issues. Real life people that are on the farm to go up there and discuss our issues we're facing, uh, they listen to us a little more sometimes, the people that actually know the, the problems on hand. Reporting from Rosedale, Louisiana, I'm Bill Sherman for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. Clayton Hurdle was part of the LSU Ag Center's Ag Leadership class and is a member of the Young Farmers and Ranchers State Committee. Next week, we'll bring you the profile of Dwayne Viatar of Lafayette. Viatar was recently profiled by Baton Rouge Magazine 225 in an effort to show the changing face of young farmers.